Hello, this is Neil, the art instructor at masterpaintingnow.com, where you can find over 300, over 300 free tutorials. All right, so in this tutorial, we're actually going to go back to um, a Photoshop tutorial, how to merge three photos seamlessly. So we're going to merge this photo, this photo, and this photo seamlessly. And we already have an idea what's going to happen, but the first thing we need to do is we need to cut out the lady because we're going to be using her. Basically, we're going to have the lady coming out of the banana and the zipper unzipping the banana. But before we get started, we have to cut her out. So I'm going to go ahead and merge this down here. Have a background, have her. What we do is you zoom in. This is the, I think this is the easiest way to do it, and probably the fastest way, is using the pen tool. And so you just want to click all on the edge, and you want to zoom in a lot to make sure you're getting the very edge of your object. Now I'm not going to go ahead and do all this in real time, but this is how you do it. You just go along the edge of your object, like so. So I'm going to go ahead and pause while I go ahead and go around the object and we'll continue on with the tutorial. If you accidentally misclick, let's say I go, oops, just go ahead and hit the um, whatever button you have to set for your step backwards. All right, once I got her all figured out, then I go ahead and I right click and I choose, I'm going to choose um, make selection. I'm now I'm gonna feather it by one pixel. Choose OK. Edit, copy, edit, paste. There are other ways to do it, but this is the way I'm doing it. Go ahead and delete this. Right, so now I can bring my banana image here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, view two images. Pull her into here. She's gonna be a lot bigger than this image. So what I might do first is um, Okay, wrong layer. There we go. Is pull her down in size and then pull her over here. Oh, that's right. So, this is a GIF right now. So, what I have to do is uh, pull this over here for right now. And it won't let me hold on. That's right. I got to I got to change what it is first, the type of file it is. Uh, what I could do instead is go select copy and then let's go ahead and just paste this in here. All right, so now we got our banana. Go and drag this image over here as well. That way we just have one file open. All right, so for now, uh, let's go back to the female. And I know the females we have to be coming out of the banana, so I want to make sure that she is the right size. Let's go ahead and put her in front of the banana for a second. And I'm thinking about her hips right there should be coming out of the banana. And maybe she needs to be a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. I want to make sure I get this the right size here where it's going to fit right about there. Okay. For now, I'm going to disappear here. Let's go to the banana layer. And with the same thing with the pen tool, we're going to zoom in here and we're going to take out the banana only. like so. And I'm just going to go to there because the rest I can just erase like that. Uh, I'm just going to go cut. No. Nope. Undo cut path. I didn't mean to cut the path. Make this a selection first. Then go to edit cut. And there we go. Now the rest of the image is going to be easy to disappear. Voila. And actually, let me go ahead and give the background a color to make sure I don't have to cut the banana out. And I might have to go ahead and cut the banana out um, to get rid of the white outline. Or if anything, here's a trick, a quick trick. I can go ahead and hold down the control key and left click on the layer that has a banana. Go to, uh, first we'll go to modify and we'll contract by one pixel. And then we'll go to inverse and then cut. Right, and that was enough to get rid of the whiteness in the background. Uh, I could also fade it more so that it has some fade. So let's go back to that stage and let's go to refine edge. 
and I want to just kind of smooth it out a little bit and maybe feather just a little bit click OK now I'll go to inverse edit and cut so now it has a smoother edge to it still less some of the white so um, modify it's going to contract it one more time inverse it again and then cut oops wrong way inverse cut there we go and that's getting closer to where I want it but I still want it smoother so what I might do is um, let's go ahead and start that process over again hold down the control key left click on the layer with the with the banana modify let's go ahead and contract by one and then layer or select let's go and inverse it first maybe contract by one more again no that's wrong keep it keep it undo that now I should be able to refine edge just feather it a little bit okay now let's try to cut it and see what happens so that's getting closer and if you want to just make it a little more refined you can let's go back to the female layer put her on I'm going to put her behind the banana now and turn her all the way up and so she doesn't quite fit in there yet so what I can do is I'm going to fit it like this that's pretty damn close I'm not going to worry about distorting her a little bit because it will distort us a little bit but that's fine okay so that's starting to work go back to the banana one more time um, what I would actually do at this point with the banana is grab my eraser tool kind of a hard eraser tool and I would use my pen tablet here I wouldn't do this with a mouse and I just kinda sharpen up some of the edge here by erasing it with the pen tablet just to get my, my lines nice and crisp Oops. There we go. So it takes a little bit more time to do it this way, but the end result is better. If you want to be a professional photo editor, I don't even think there is such a job for that. Well, there is a little bit. I used to do it for wedding uh, photography, where I would, I would fix up wedding photographies and add like simple type of editing and stuff like that. But you really don't do this kind of editing, really. And there isn't like really a job that requires you to do this kind of stuff. But if you want to bring it to that professional level, you definitely want to get a tablet. It's just one of those things. I'm just going to go ahead and sharpen all this in here as well. And this is where the zipper is going to go. And so I'm going to start unzipping this by erasing it and opening it up a little bit more. I'm going to have some of the zipper on there. And that's where the zipper is going to come down to. Right, so right now it doesn't really look like the two photos belong together. And the reason why is because the color is, is incorrect. The lighting, actually, you try to, want to try to find photos where the lighting is pretty much the same. The light's kind of coming down from the top. Uh, in front of the object, it's kind of above it and to the right of it a little bit. And that's kind of how the banana is too. So that all looks good. Basically, what we want to do is we want to fix the color of the female. So there's this little icon here. Click on the female layer. Make sure it's the female layer. The icon here that locks that layer, it locks the transparency pixels. It means you can only color on her. You can't color anywhere else. I'm going to grab this yellow color. I'm going to pick the uh, soft light. Turn the opacity down here so I can control a little bit more how much I do. If you're using a mouse, you're going to have to take your time a lot more with this. And just add this yellow color into her here. Not too much. That's a little too much. So more to the bottom though. Grab this lighter color maybe, kind of add it in there. This brighter yellow, just a little bit like that. So by adding a little bit of the yellow, it's going to, maybe a little bit of red too, it's going to start bringing out that the color of the character more. And let's use a more like a yellow light here. That's a little too much. And if you tend to go overboard with it, you also want to add some other colors here, a little bit of blue. And I like to make the whole thing into the shadows. I like to make the whole thing look kind of artistic. And so to do that, I'm also going to go to the banana layer and I'm going to add in some blue 
into the shadow area here. Notice I'm using soft light still. Just kind of, kind of, I'm going to take a little bit of pinkish color here, go to the lady layer, add a little bit of pink in there, and a little bit more yellow. There we go. So now it's starting to look more like the uh, the two objects go together. And to, so to get that harmony, when you're blending two objects together, you want to make sure that you add in the, the colors. The next thing I want to do is make a new layer. This is going to be above the lady, but behind the banana. I'm going to set it to multiply. Take my brush, set it back to normal. Still using a soft brush. I'm going to use a kind of a bluish desaturated color. This is going to be a shadow. So to multiply, turn this layer down a little bit. Zoom in here. And I know that the light's kind of coming down like this. And uh, so a little bit of shadow like that. A little bit of shadow right here because it's like a drop shadow, right? You have this little bit of drop shadow because of the light's hitting at this angle here. That makes her kind of fit into the object a little bit better. Next is her shadow too is going to be affecting the banana. And so um, let's make a new layer, set it to multiply, and this will be for her cat shadow. So it's kind of going to be coming the back there and I can erase where it goes outside and I got my eraser tool here erase because it's not going to go outside the banana there take a soft brush I'm just going to slightly erase like this now as well okay so now it looks more like she's fit into the banana like she like she belongs there because you want to make sure that the, the cast shadows are correct and actually the light's almost coming from the side uh, more than it is in front of us, so the shadow might even cross more like that and kind of fade out. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to go back in here with the eraser tool and erase all where it wouldn't come outside the edge of the banana there. Another way I could do that too is just uh, go to the banana layer, which is here, and hold down control key and then left, left mouse click that to select it. Go to select, inverse, and then edit and cut. So this is cutting anything outside the banana layer. That way, the shadow wouldn't go outside of it. All right. So they they kind of look like they belong there now. The next thing I want to do is I want to I kind of want to bump up the contrast of the banana and the lady. Kind of make them look more artistic. So to get look more artistic, I want to turn down the just a little bit like that. Turn the darks up a little bit more. Turn the brights up maybe a little bit more. And I want to do the same thing with the banana. Maybe like this. Like that. And then I want to go to uh, image adjustments and hue and saturation. I want to turn the saturation down a little bit on the banana to match the girl more because the banana was more con uh, saturated than the female was. All right, the next thing I want to do is want to add the zipper. So let's go ahead and get the zipper. And these are techniques that you hopefully can see how you can use these techniques for many different objects. I'm going to set this to multiply to get rid of the white because I don't feel like going in and, and getting rid of the white some other way. I'm going to go ahead and match this up to right about here the best I can. And actually, you know what? I'm going to have to do, uh, I'm going to have to get rid of the white. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back a few steps where this was much bigger and just kind of filled in. I have tolerance set to 10. And let's get rid of as much of the white as we can. And actually, that looks pretty good. Uh, especially the time I zoom this down, it's going to be fine. All right, so. Just want to see about how big I want the zipper, so about like so. And then I'm going to go to the Edit and Puppet Warp. I think this will be the easiest tool to use. Put a pin here and a pin here. This will kind of lock those points. And I'll put a pin here and a pin here. Now I can pull these points and match it up to the edge of the banana. Might need one other point here to kind of adjust this right. And I think that's going to work like so. 
Next I'm going to grab my eraser tool, zoom in here, and I want to erase everything that's not the zipper. I should have done this when it was larger, but it doesn't make much of a difference. Like so. I also want to make sure that the shadow works correctly with this object here. So let's go ahead and grab that upper shadow layer, which is here. And small brush. Just add a little bit of drop shadow on that side. And go to this actual layer here. I'm going to kind of change the brightness of the object a little bit like that. Next I want to taper off the zipper, so I'm just going to take my my eraser, oops, wrong way, I just want to taper off the zipper so it looks like it's kind of folding around. Right, so, and I have to, the next best one is to zoom out like that, so now you can see that the whole thing kind of works and goes together. And then of course the background color makes a difference, but if we just had the background color as white, then you know, it's not really going to affect the colors of anything which is kind of how the uh, pictures were anyway. We might want to go in and hi highlight her more white in this area. But as you can see, the images flow together quite well. I did, I did it quickly. Um, this is a quick tutorial. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. So you can see if you, the main things you want to focus on when you're blending photos together is how will the, make sure the lighting matches. How will the cast shadows be affected? You know, wh what objects will cast shadows on what objects? Make sure that um, the colors match. That's very important, so make sure the colors match by adding in the bounce color. So if there's a yellow object, obviously a lot of yellow is going to bounce into her skin tone. I, I went more of an artistic look for, with it rather than such a realistic look. I like that better with photo manipulation, but um, if, if you want to be more realistic, don't put so much yellow as I did in her. Just make it subtle. And then you know, make sure you add some colors of her into the banana, and it'll kind of make them all flow together and look like they're supposed to be together because that's what happens with light anyway. The next thing I want to make sure of is that the contrast level of each object is very similar by adjusting that in, in levels and stuff like that. And of course you want to make sure the saturation is about the same in each object. If if the banana is, is very saturated and the woman is not, then you want to either make the woman more saturated or make the banana less saturated. I chose to go with the woman being less saturated. And if you follow that kind of method, uh, you're gonna, you're, I think you'll come up with a pretty nice image as end result, no matter what objects you're adding together. So you can apply these same techniques and these same, the same method to other objects you want to add together. And if you want, if you like this sort of thing with Photoshop, let me know. I can make more, I can make more tutorials like this in the future. Right, thanks for watching. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to be you know, updated when I come up with more tutorials. I'm constantly coming up with more, more free tutorials. Um, go to my website, check it out. I got tons of free tutorials there. Um, if you want to watch more tutorials and you're not sure if I have the subject or not, this is what you do. Simply click on my name to go to my actual channel, my YouTube channel, and then there's a search thing there. After you go to browse videos, there's a little search thing. In the search, type whatever you want. Type a keyword in there. See if I have a video. I have over 300 videos, so it's a very good chance I have it. People ask me all the time, do you have a tutorial on hands? Yes, there's a tutorial on hands in there. Just type in hands and it'll probably come up that way. So just type in a couple keywords and see if you can find the videos on my channel. Um, yeah, so hey, what kind of tutorials do you want to see in the future? Go ahead and write a comment and, and make a request. Thanks for watching.